Now, the North Dakota State Canvassing Board met today at the Capitol to certify the statewide election results. Our political reporter Justin Gick was in the room where it happened today. He joins us now. Justin. Monica, this meeting took place in the Secretary of State's office this morning. The board consists of Secretary of State Michael Howe, State Treasurer Thomas Beadle, Clerk of the North Dakota Supreme Court Petra Mandigo Holm, and both chairs of the state political parties. Sandy Sanford represented the Republican Party, and Tracy Potter represented Adam Goldwyn for the Democratic MPL Party. Secretary of State Michael Howe says the statewide turnout for this election was more than 371,000. He says that is the average for a presidential election in North Dakota, but there was a new trend. This time, North Dakota voters preferred absentee and early voting. Howe says in 2020 it was a different election with COVID, but this was some new for a normal election. This is the first time more ballots were cast prior to Election Day than on Election Day. Seven counties across North Dakota offered in-person early voting. Um, that is an option every county has. That is a decision made by each county commission whether or not to offer that. And many things go into play there in making that decision. Hal says automatic recounts will take place for two Supervisor of Soil Conservation District races. They are for an unexpired two-year term in the South McLean Soil Conservation District and a term in the Towner County Soil Conservation District. He says the demand recount threshold has been met for two seats in the State House of Representatives. In Legislative District 9, David Bryan may request a recount for an unexpired two-year term. And in Legislative District 18, Mary Adams may request a recount. Recounts must be requested within four days of the State Canvassing Board meeting. Now, the State Canvassing Board will reconvene on December 2nd to consider the results of the automatic recounts and potential requested demand recounts. As far as the certification of the presidential election results in North Dakota, House says Donald Trump carried the state and will be awarded three electoral votes. He says the meeting of the presidential electors will take place on December 17th in the governor's office. Monica. Thanks, Justin.